Alright guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you the haul of stuff and it is a huge haul of things from my last yard sale haul footage. I feel like I always have to reiterate that I do not film at every single yard sale so there's always things that you'll see in hauls that you didn't necessarily see me pick up in the video. Uh, but there's a ton of stuff to show you guys and there's a lot of like high priced items that are within this haul that I'm so super excited about. So I'm just gonna start in on it and I'll let you guys know what I paid and what I currently have um, the stuff listed for. Because pretty much I think all of it is listed except for anything that I may have potentially be keeping for myself, which I don't think is a whole lot, but um, we're just gonna get straight into it because there's a lot of stuff to go over. So the first thing that I have is another set of these Gathered Traditions dolls. So you guys saw that I picked up a Pilgrim pair at a yard sale and then the week after, because if you guys remember, the lady said that she was having a yard sale of her own. So I went to her yard sale and she had um, these little sailor ones for sale. And I went, <laughs> I went to her sale. She had $15 on these dolls and I didn't buy them. I, I just decided not to get them. And then I... <laughs> What I usually do, I regret things. So I went back the next day, they were still there, and she marked them down to $10. So I got this set for $10, and like I said, it's a little sailor boy and girl, and these would be perfect for like nautical theme decorations, or even just like 4th of July, since they kind of have that um, patriotic red, white, and blue coloring to them. So $10 for these. I have them listed for a buy it now of $49.99. So again, those are the Gathered Traditions dolls. Oh my goodness. I don't even know where to start. I think I'm going to try and go down, um, my list here so I can kind of stay in some sort of semblance of order because I just I, I'm a little overwhelmed with the amount of things that I have to share with you. So next I have a vintage Fisher Price stuffed animal. This is what they refer to as puffalumps. Um, these stuffed animals that kind of have this soft almost like um, silky nylon material. This one here is just a yellow teddy bear. It has a rattle inside, so when you shake it, it kind of makes a rattling noise. This here I paid 50 cents for, and I have it listed as a buy it now for $49.99. So this is one of those um, vintage stuffed animals that definitely can sell on the higher side. Um, you know, people who, once had these before as you know kids and are looking to buy them back for like nostalgia purposes or to give to like you know their child now um so i thought that was a great <laughs> find for that so you guys saw that i picked up this vintage lisa frank tin for 50 cents at a yard sale and this has two little um golden retriever dogs on their names are actually casey and kate camus and this thing is just filled with some awesome vintage Lisa Frank goodness. So we have a um, tape dispenser that still has um, a roll of tape on it. There were two erasers that were never used. They each have a little bit of a different image on it. And they're like rainbow colored. There was a notepad. And this actually has like the print of the dog on. Um, and then there were three of these um, sticker sheets. And then this one here, which I don't know if this one actually um, originally belonged in this tin per se, because it's of the Dalmatian and not the Golden Retriever, but it's in there, as well as a little sheet of temporary tattoos and a couple sheets of stationery. So that was an amazing score for 50 cents. 
it still blows my mind that there is not only vintage Lisa Frank out there to be found in the wild, but the fact that this stuff wasn't used is insane to me. Like, I had this tin, but with the ballerina bunny rabbits on when I was younger, I would have put my stickers all over things, probably all over my caboodles and stuff like that. I would have written on the stationery, I would have rubbed down the erasers, I would have put the tape on things, like, I would have just, I would have used it all. So to find the stuff, like, how can you not use this as a child? Like, that's just insane to me. Um, so that was a really awesome find for 50 cents. And if you, honest to God, don't know how to tell Vintage Lisa Frank apart from the new stuff, it's super easy. Whenever you see the Lisa Frank name, it will be a capital L and a capital F. It's once you see the vintage logo on things, you'll be able to differentiate it like super fast. So um, definitely this is vintage. I honestly though would probably still pick up newer Lisa Frank items just because it has such a huge cult following. And even if it doesn't have high resale prices right now, as far as like the newer stuff, Considering the vintage stuff sells for so much now, like years down the road, that's going to become the vintage stuff. So that's going to have um, some high resale value as well. So this here, like I said, I paid 50 cents for. I put it up on auction with a starting price of $99.99. I do not know if I will get a bid at that price right now. Um, so if I don't, I'll probably relist it at that price and see how long I'm going to like sit on it until I find the right buyer. Um, and then, you know, some time goes by and no one's still buying it at that price and I will lower it. Um, but I just thought it was pretty awesome considering it's not just the tin. There's actually, you know, goodies inside of it kind of thing. So that's kind of what I went by with that. Uh, next thing I have... Typically when I do my hauls, I'm, I've been and I'm going to try and just like throw some things in of stuff that I kind of listed when I listed like all of this stuff. Um, so this here, just so you can see it, just in case there's something that, um, you know, you might have in your death pile or in case you would come across it out in your travels that you can look for it because, you know, it might be potentially something that... Um, could sell for a high price. So this tin, I actually won in a box lot. This would have been in one of my last auction hauls. It wasn't actually in my haul, and I think I talked about that where there was stuff that I was just gonna take straight to the yard sale. I didn't even like bring it up, I didn't haul it, I didn't show it because I didn't think it was worth anything. Well, I found this tin down there. And I looked it up and it was worth actually listing separately. So this is a vintage um, Halloween tin. It's made by JSNY. And there are these vintage plastic um, Halloween magnets inside. And there's all different ones. This one says trick or treat and it's a little trick or treat bag. So pretty much every picture that you see going around this tin is the magnet that's inside. So I looked this up and someone sold the magnets and they didn't even have the complete set. They were missing one and they didn't have the tin either. Um, and what did I have this listed at? I have this listed at a buy it now of $29.99. So they sold the magnets that were missing one. Um, and as I said, without the tin and I think like it sold for like around 20-ish dollars. So I listed mine a little higher since I had the tin and I had the complete set. I'm definitely gonna start looking at vintage magnets a little more thoroughly. It's something that I never really looked at so much um, in the past, but some of them can actually sell kind of decently depending. And well, since this is like holiday related, you know, it's a nice set, so. I posted it up and we'll just see if it sells or not. All right, so I went to a yard sale and I got a bunch of vintage um, Oshkosh bib overalls. These are obviously children's sizes. 
there are some I don't have listed yet. They are currently in the wash. Um, so this is the only pair that I have that I have listed. So you'll see the other ones when I do like another haul type video. Uh, but this is one pair. It's just a pair of green corduroy um, Oshkosh bibs. And I did pay $2 for these. And I have them listed as a buy it now for $29.99. So... I like the other ones that I got there's some that are like acid wash jean material if you guys remember that so they're definitely <laughs> super vintage so hopefully that they'll sell all right I actually got this Santa a little while back so I hadn't listed it because I couldn't find my black light so I ordered this ginormous one off of Amazon I was waiting for it to come this thing is great if you're looking to um, see if like your things glow and stuff like that, uh, this one has like I think a hundred uh, bulbs in here. So anyway, I was waiting for it to come because I knew it was gonna glow. You can see just how much it glows, and obviously if you check like my auction um, listing, you'll be able to see uh, better pictures of it glow. I'm like out of breath. I ran downstairs to go get that black light. Anyway. This is a Fenton hand-painted Santa Claus. It's absolutely gorgeous, and as you can see, it does glow. And it still has the Fenton sticker here on the side, as well as it says who it was hand-painted by here on the inside. So I got this for, I'm pretty sure I only paid $2 for it, which is just insane that I only spent that much. And I put this up on auction with a starting price of $99.99. I know that's a little bit high. Wasn't quite sure how to price it. Um, so I'll probably have to come down on price if that doesn't get a bid. But it's such a nice Santa Claus and it glows so beautifully. So we'll see. But like I said, I'll probably have to come down on the price on that. But other ones were listed pretty high. So we'll see. I get a little excited sometimes when it comes to things so uh next we have a set of vintage um these are actually from sears these are glass christmas ornaments and they're pretty big bulbs they have indents on them um i'm not going to take them out of the box or anything like that just because like these are listed i don't want anything happening to them i don't want to touch them too much or anything like that uh but they are they do say that they were made in West Germany and originally, you know, you could purchase these at Sears. I actually bought two boxes of these at a sale. This is the only box I have um, listed right now. So I do have one more box to list. And like I said, you'll see them in another haul. Uh, but I paid 25 cents for this box. I listed them on auction with a starting price of $25.99. They do, I think, have two bids already. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to see what they go for. And like I said, I have another box. Um, but the other box, I feel like they're slightly different. They still have the indents, but just ever so slight difference to the look of them. All right, this next item was a pretty awesome score. I found this vintage Pepsi hat. It says Williamsport, Pennsylvania on it. Um, this does have the three stripes on the sides. The hat is dusty. It's a little dirty. The um, foam in it is separating. It's not like completely disintegrating to like the point where like the foam is just like falling out in a powder, but it's definitely in there kind of like separating because of the age of it. Um, I got this at a yard sale. I paid $1 for it. And I listed this up on auction with a starting price of $99.99. And it already has a few bids. It's up to a hundred and I think six dollars right now. Um, so I'm excited to see where this goes. So you'll obviously see that in a cha-ching whenever um, it does sell. I got these two packs of Bystel Halloween decorations. These are called the Art Tissue Decorations. This one's from 1990 and this one from 1991. So this one here has 25 five inch, just like tissue paper type bats in it. And it's brand new, still sealed. And then this here is a skull garland and also made of the art kind of tissue paper. So that's what that looks like. 
Um, I paid 25 cents a piece for these, so 50 cents altogether. I listed them um, as a lot together, and I listed those for a buy it now of $19.99. So nice little um, Halloween decorations, vintage from the 90s. So if someone just wants to keep them as is or use them, um, then you know they can decide what they want to do with them. I also got another vintage hat. This one says Pabst Racing Team. So it's just a blue mesh trucker hat. I paid 75 cents for this and I have it listed as a buy it now for $45.99. So I was seeing other hats like this listed pretty high. So that's what I went on that one. At the same sale, at the same sale, I got three of these Winston Cup series um, vintage like mesh trucker style hats. There were three of them. They're all the exact same thing. They were all 75 cents a piece. And I listed these um, separately. Well, I listed them together, but obviously as a quantity of three. So if someone just wants one, they can buy one or buy all three. Uh, but I listed them for a buy it now of $29.99. So I don't know a whole heck of a lot about racing items. Um, so we'll just see how those go. You guys know I've been selling stuff for my aunt. Something of hers actually just sold today. And last time I w went to visit her, I paid her for um, some of the things that sold. And she gave me a couple more things to sell. So when I get those things listed, I like to share with you guys um, what she got um, to give me. Just for like nostalgia's um, sake. And you know, so you guys can see like what I listed it for. So this is a vintage Sweet Valley High board game. It is 100% complete. I actually had this game and I sometimes wonder because um, we would always have, like her and my mom would always have yard sales together at her house. And it, sometimes like my stuff would just like get mixed in with everything else when they pack it away. And it kind of makes me think that this actually was mine, but I honestly don't know because me and my cousin, we both had a lot of the same things because we were um, kind of similar in age. So it could it could have been mine. Um, but regardless, this is from, oh, what's the year on this? 1988. And like I said, it is complete in very good condition. And I have this listed um, for a buy it now, $49.99. So this is definitely one of those board games that um, can sell on the higher side. I got um, a bunch of these Mark by Avon body sprays. So this one here is called Lemon Sugar and it's brand new. They're all still sealed. They all still have their seal on. So when I was buying these, they had the sprayers, but they marked the sprayers as different prices from the sprays. So I had to buy the sprays and the sprayers separately. Um, so I paid a dollar for the spray and, or a, yeah, a dollar for the fluid basically, and 50 cents for the sprayer. So a dollar 50 for the whole shebang. And I listed this as a buy it now for $23.99. So as far as the Avon scents, the mark for Avon, um, since the lemon sugar seems to be a popular fragrance from them. So that one is a little higher than the rest of them. And we'll get to those. I'm going to share this next because it's big and heavy and fragile. Um, I did get this Fenton White Milk Glass Hobnail. <sighs> I'm going to butcher the name. I don't know exactly how you pronounce it. Epergine? Epergine? Um... It has these three, you can remove these, like trumpet flower vases that kind of stick inside here. I paid $5 for this at a yard sale, and I have it listed for a buy it now of $49.99. The yard sale I got it at had a lot of just different um, milk glass pieces, but this was like the only piece that I thought was eye-catching and different and worth picking up. So we'll see um, 
if and when <laughs> that sells. I bought this um, Attacking Anxiety and Depression program. This has, I believe, 16 cassette tapes in a workbook and just a bunch of other like paper um, pamphlets and stuff like that. I remember this being on television um, back in like, I guess it would have been the early 2000s. And that was like about the time when I first started getting like really bad anxiety and panic attacks and I always wanted to get this thing to help me. Um, I can't say anything like legitimately helped me. I never got on any kind of medication or anything like that. I just, I kind of just deal with it the best that I can. Um, most days I do all right, but then some days it just like hits me out of the blue and you know, I'll have an anxiety attack and it's the worst feeling ever, um, but yeah, I got this, and I know how much that it would have cost originally. Uh, I feel like they came out with CDs, obviously, um, and I do think the CDs sell better, you know, than the cassette tape. So I paid $3 for this, and I have it listed as a buy it now for $29.99. I honestly should probably listen to it myself. <laughs> Since I'm just going in order, like some of these things are like I'm jumping from yard sale stuff to other things. This was also something my aunt gave me to sell. It's a vintage Cabbage Patch Kids framed wooden picture. I just think the picture is so cute. It has three of the Cabbage Patch Kids dolls like knocking over a tower of blocks. I remember when I was younger looking at this picture and just trying to like imagine myself like within that picture if that makes sense like it kind of takes me back to those days so I did list this for a buy it now of $19.99 this here I bought at a yard sale it's a vintage strawberry shortcake book it's hardcover and it's called strawberry shortcake and the crazy baking contest um, I don't think this book necessarily by itself is worth much it's from 1983 but I love vintage kids books. I have a slight collection of them just because I love the illustrations and things like that. So I'll probably just keep this for my collection for now. And I paid a quarter to 50 cents for it. So, and it's in brand new condition. I love the fact when there's no like writing at all inside because you know sometimes there'll be like a, at least a name or something on the inside of books and it's like brand new, very clean. I got this vintage Etienne Anye. Did I say it right this time? I don't know, because I always call it Etienne Agner or Etienne Agner, because that's what my mom used to call it. Uh, but it's just this leather encased kind of pill box. Like you press down on this button, it pops open. It's got three different sections here for pills and whatnot and then like a name and address space there. So I thought that was really cute and different. I've never seen one of these before. I paid a dollar for that and I have it listed as a buy it now for $19.99. I got this coach wallet. Um, I only paid, what did I pay for this? $1. So I decided to nab that. It's got that sateen um, feel to it and black patent leather. So just like a, looks like a buckle on the front, but it opens with a snap and the inside looks like this. So it's in really nice condition, $1 for that. I have this on auction with a starting price of $22.99. I got this stack of vintage kids um, beach towels or bath towels. Um, I only really wanted the one because it had the uh, most vibrant print on it but the lady was selling all three for a dollar so I just figured whatever I'll just take all three and we'll go from there uh so this was the one that I wanted the most and I'll try and show you the best that I can uh but this was a tiny tune adventures towel so I listed this up as a buy it now for $19.99 so I got that one and then there was also a Mickey Mouse one. He's wearing his sunglasses and he's got like a 
nice cool drink in his hand. So again, I listed it, um, buy it now, $19.99. And then the last one was a Fievel, an American Tale. This was from Fievel Goes West. So again, I listed that as a buy it now for $19.99. So we'll see if those sell or not. I kind of just took a chance on those. All right. So you guys know I sell stuff for my aunt. La the last week I had a yard sale with my best friend. And she actually gave me a couple things of hers to sell. She does sell on eBay, but she just doesn't have a whole lot of time um, to sell. So she gave me a couple things. So I'm kind of like consigning a little bit for her. Uh, so the first thing I got was this older VHS tape. It's called What's Happening to Me. It's like a animation, like cartoon about puberty. When we were like, oh, we would have been teenagers super immature we used to rent this tape from blockbuster because we thought it was the most hilarious thing ever and it's still it's so funny it's like it talks about puberty but in such of like humorous funny way <laughs> we just had gotten a kick out of it and i guess at some point she bought the vhs i don't know where she got it uh this is from 1990 so surprisingly, these are harder to come by. So I did list this up as a buy it now for $25.99. So hopefully that sells for her. Um, I also got this Vera Bradley wallet. This wallet was actually in a Vera Bradley purse that I bought and I'll show you that purse here soon. Um, so they were just selling it along with the purse. So I I honestly consider this kind of like a freebie, uh, but it's a really pretty color. It's got obviously that quilted look and it does have that, what they call the RFID technology to it. So like no one can scan your um, credit cards and stuff like that. And it looks like it's in like brand new condition. So I did list this um, as a buy it now for I believe I have down $24.99. So got that. I did pick up this Starbucks tumbler. It is a ceramic tumbler. It's kind of like this zigzag chevron print. It does have the lid. Sometimes it's hard um, to find the tumblers with the lids. Like people will have the cup, but the lid is missing. So I don't know if like it ends up breaking because the lid is ceramic as well. But I decided to pick it up. I pay 50 cents for it and I have it listed as a buy it now for $16.99. I'm trying to go through this stuff slightly quickly because there's so much to show. Um, I also have this hobnail. This is like an opalescent um, glass hobnail. I think this is uh, for cigarettes. I think it's like a cigarette box. Um, but obviously I would use it for jewelry or tr like a, as a trinket box kind of thing. So it's really pretty. I really liked the look of this and I did pay $5 for it and I have it listed for a buy it now of $22.99. I got these brass duck bookends or you could honestly use them for like door stoppers or something along those lines. They got some weight to them. Um, I don't see any markings on them. I'm not sure who they're made by or anything like that. I paid $1 for them and I have them listed as a buy it now for $19.99. I found a squish mallow and this one here is actually a little more desirable than some squish mallows that I have found in the past. So <laughs> out of all the squish mallows I have purchased, this is the only one I, I think I listed so far. The other ones I'm kind of just if I buy them and they end up not really being worth listing separate, I'm just planning on like lotting them up all together. So I paid uh, 50, yeah, 50 cents for this one and I have it listed as a buy it now for $49.99. Like I said, this one is a little more desirable and some Squishmallows can sell uh, for some really nice prices. So we're going to see about that one. Mountain Dew hat. I loved the look of this. It's just super colorful and fun. It still has its new era 
um, sticker there on it. So this was like a promotional thing, I believe. Um, there's a Mountain Dew sticker here, but I think someone just stuck it there and I left it there. So whoever buys it, they can take it off if they want to. But it is a New Era hat. Just really awesome print to that. I did pay $3 for this and I listed it as a buy it now for $39.99. Really starting to like hats here lately. Um, next we have a Longaburger piece. And I just was taking a chance on this because I don't really know a whole lot about Longaburger. I thought this one was kind of cool. It's a one pint croc. It's still in its box. So it's in the original box and has like its paper. There's like, where are you? You're in there. Whatever it is. The Longaburger pottery um, paper, but I just thought it was so cute with the candy corn. So this would be perfect for like Halloween or just fall in general. So I don't think it was ever actually used. Um, what did I pay for this? I did pay $5 for it and unfortunately it's not worth like a ton. I have it listed as a buy it now for $19.99. So we'll see. Like I said, I didn't really know what I was buying there. I just thought like, ooh, it's Longa Burger and it's got a cool print, so we're just gonna take it. <laughs> I also got this candle to go in my candle hoard. This is just a Bath and Body Works little mini candle in sweater weather is the scent. And this smells so good. Oh my goodness, I'm ready for fall, guys. It was so hot outside today, so hot. Okay. This next item is kind of what I would say insane. I got a perfume at a yard sale and I had never heard of it before. Uh, the scent is called Portrait of a Lady and it is by a company called Freder Frederick Mao. And it looks like this. So when I saw it, I was like, wow, not only did it smell really nice, but um, you know, it's in a really nice bottle. It's super heavy and obviously made in France. It was only 50 cents, so I was like, well, it's a 50 cent perfume, I'm just gonna buy it. Like, I didn't look it up or anything like that. If, if something is that cheap, you know, I just go with my gut and pick it up. This perfume, in this size, this is the largest size, they make 3.4 fluid ounce. The retail value of this is $350 and $50 for this perfume. That is insane. I would never in my life spend almost $400 for a bottle of perfume. So I know you're asking me, Michelle, what does a $350 bottle of perfume smell like? It smells really nice. Um, it's a little bit too much for me. Like if I would wear this, I feel like I would probably have a headache within like five minutes <laughs> after um, putting it on. Eric's downstairs playing with a steamer. Anyway, it's got, it's got a floralness to it, but also like a muskiness. It's, it's a heavy, it's what I would describe as a heavy fragrance. Um, and that's just not the kind of thing I'm super interested in. Anyway, 50 cents for this, 50 cents. And I listed this as a buy it now for $289.99. So, oh my gosh. Yeah, all the ones that are listed and sold sold obviously high so that was an insane score all right we also have another Avon um, body spray these are called get misty that's the name of the body mist um, this one is in snowdrop flower so again brand new still sealed and I had to buy the sprayer separately so a dollar fifty for that and I listed that as a buy it now for $19.99. So all the rest were at that price range, $19.99. The only one I listed slightly higher was that um, lemon one because the fragrance was more desirable on that one. Um, I decided to try my hand again at some old printer ink, so we'll see. Uh, these are all the same exact thing, all brand new, still sealed, all expired. I've sold expired printer ink already and you know, it has sold. I paid $1.50 for this whole lot of them 
and I listed them as the whole lot of three as a buy it now of $42.99. I got this Blue's Clues um, stuffed animal. It is by Fisher Price. It still has the tag on it and it is from, what's the date on you? 2002. But it's also a hand puppet so you can stick your hand up here. Obviously it's for a child so my hand doesn't fit too well. But it is a little hand puppet plush. Um, I have heard Blue's Clues stuff was coming back. I don't really know. I didn't look up Blue's Clues to see what exactly Blue's Clues is selling right now. But I pay 50 cents for this and I have it listed as a buy it now for $19.99. So I went with that price because there are some listed that don't have the tag and this one does. So we went a little bit higher on that. All right, so I found another really good score. I'm telling you, this haul was filled with lots of high price stuff. I found this Estee Lauder. This is in the Pleasures fragrance, and it is body powder. It's a huge jar of body powder, 3.5 ounces. So I'll show you what the jar looks like. Looks like this. So this is sealed. But there is some powder like somehow like escaping probably from like down yonder in there. So I did mention that in in the listing. So new, still sealed, but there's escaping powder. I'm not sure why. Um, but I did pay, what did I pay for this? I paid $2 for it. This is a harder to find Estee Lauder um, item in this fragrance. I have it listed for a buy it now of $149.99 for that bad boy. So again, that was a great deal. Potato. What's a potato? Oh, potato. I got this, um, again, what I would describe as a puff -a lump I just, any kind of stuffed animal that has this nylon material, I consider a puff -a lump but there are some certain vintage puff -a lumps that exist that are actually um, what you would call puff -a lumps So this one is a Mr. Potato Head. He is from Toy Story. Now, at the yard sale, there were some other ones. I know there was a 101 Dalmatians one and a Winnie the Pooh, and the person who was selling it had um, like masking tape on like the the sticker with the price was masking tape and they must have had them on for like more than one year out at the yard sale and the sun kind of baked on that sticky tape residue and I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to get it off so I only bought the potato head because he didn't really have much on him and I ended up being able to get it off with Goo Gone so um I maybe should have picked up the other ones, but I just didn't know if I was going to be able to get that off. So I paid $1 for him, and I listed him up as a buy it now for $23.99. This was also in the auction box along with those magnets, and this is actually a Yankee Candle item. It's a little iced gingerbread man, and he is for a tea light. So I thought he was really cute. And I decided to list him and I put him up as a buy it now for $9.99. Alright, I got this um, Build-A-Bear. This is a Build-A-Bear and it's just a teddy bear but he has pumpkins all over and he's got a little pumpkin on his nose. I thought he was so cute and precious. I absolutely fell in love with him. He was $1 and I listed him up as a buy it now for $23.99. Um, some Build-A-Bears can sell for lots and lots and lots of money and I think that's going to be my next Bolo 411 video. It's going to be about Build-A-Bear because I want to learn more about which Build-A-Bears to pick up when I see them. <laughs> Alright, so this was the Vera Bradley purse that um, had that Vera Bradley wallet in. So this is a crossbody style bag. It's in really nice condition. Pretty much like what I would consider to be brand new. So I just thought that was a really nice bag. And I paid $2 for the purse. Plus I got that what I called a free uh, Vera Bradley wallet. So I listed this purse up on auction with a starting price of $29.99. So we'll see if it sells at that price or not. 
Another um, item that my friend gave me to sell for her was this dress. And this dress is by Lauren Conrad, but it's a Disney dress. It still has the tags attached. She never wore it. Um, so it says Disney Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, a collection by Lauren Conrad. It's a size 6, and it's really pretty. It has all these woodland creatures on it. It's adorable. Um, I did list this up as a buy it now for $39.99. So we'll see if that sells. I know like some of the Kohl's brands really aren't that spectacular as far as resale value, but since this is Disney and it still has the tags, I thought maybe um, it had a better chance of selling. I found this Torrid, and this is going to be hard to show, but obviously if you want to see a better picture, you can check my auction. But it's this um, long black, pretty well sheer short sleeved, um, just kind of like cover up. It has a tie on it so you can tie it closed. And that is a size 00, zero which I think in torrid sizes is like a medium large. And I paid $5 for this and I have it listed up as a buy it now for $39.99. I tried it on and I liked it, but <laughs> I decided to sell it. I got this Sony. This is called a Dream Machine. It's an AM FM radio alarm clock. So this was still in the box. The box was open, but the whole alarm clock is still in there and sealed. So pretty much like new open box condition. I paid $2 for this and I listed it up with a buy it now of $49.99. So that was a good score too. So hopefully that goes. So you guys saw in one of my auction haul videos, I had one, one of these Lysol no touch um, kitchen hand soap dispensing systems that were brand new in the packaging. Uh, they discontinued this product so it's harder to find. It's harder to find the refills um, and I found two of the refills. These were new. I paid $1.50 a piece for these and I listed them together as a lot for um, a buy it now of $45.99. So like I said, discontinued, harder to find. Um, and the refills are definitely harder to find. I got this. This was brand new, still in the packaging. This was from 2005. It's by Sunbeam. It is a holographic dolphin light. So the whole outside here lights up a neon color and it sits on this black star base. So I love new old stock items. I mean, 2005 is back there a ways now. Um, I paid two dollars for this and I have it listed up as a buy it now for $39.99. Got this, this is just a uh, new, um, these just came out not that long ago, these Pokemon, this is from McDonald's, um, but it's still, it's new, it's never been opened. It has a pack of Pokemon cards inside. You get four cards in there. Obviously you don't know what they are until you open them, so kind of like a mystery. It also came with some like Pokemon stickers and stuff like that. So I paid 75 cents for this. I just know Pokemon's like really hot, so I decided to pick it up. Um, and I listed that as a buy it now for $9.99. So not a whole heck of a lot. Um, but you know, I saw Pokemon, I was like, I better get this just in case. So we went with it. I got this antique book. I don't know anything about antique books basically. Uh, but this is called The Poetical Works of Lord Byron. It's a really nice book. Um, you know, leather bound and it's got those gilt pages. It's not in like the best condition. When you open it up, you can see like the spine is coming away from the book. But it is from 18, I think it was 1878. Yeah. 1878 is from when this book was from. I did pay $10 for this, so I don't know if like I overspent on it, but I honestly just didn't know. And when I looked it up, I couldn't find this specific book, like this specific one. So I don't know if it's harder to find or not. Um, I went ahead and listed it up on auction with a starting price of $59.99. So I might be out of my mind with that price. 
especially considering the condition, but I just don't know. I have no idea. So we're just gonna go with it and see what happens. Same with this next item. I got this at a yard sale and I just bought it because I thought it was really weird and unique and interesting. And those are just the types of things that I'm naturally drawn to. So it's this metal silver fish and it's articulated. Like it kind of, you know, can move around type of thing. And it's got this little fishy face here and it's got a latch hook on the side. So when you open it, it's little head opens and then there's like you know, a whatever you can stick in there type of thing. So I asked the lady, I was like, what is this fish? Like, what was it used for? What was its purpose kind of thing? Cause I like to find this information since I'm gonna sell it. I wanna know what I'm selling type of thing. And I asked her and she was going on about something of it, about it being like a perfume holder. So I was kind of like, I don't know, that seems a little weird, but I'll just take your word for it. But she didn't honestly really know what it was either. So when I looked it up, it's actually a spite, what they call a spice um, holder, I guess for, a, for spices, I don't know. Um, but when I looked this up, there are similar ones listed for as high as like $400. Um, I listed mine for, at, on auction with a starting price of $199.99 because I honestly don't know. Like I saw similar ones selling for around $190. Uh, people have them listed for so much higher than that. So I mean, I'd be perfectly happy if it sold for $199.99, but I just don't know. Um, and a lot of people also said that it's made of silver. So I don't, I don't know if it is or not. There's no markings on it or anything like that. And I'm not exactly sure how to test if things are silver. So I don't know. But <laughs> regardless, I paid, what did I pay? I paid 50 cents for it. So, you know, <laughs> I barely paid a thing for it. Uh, but it's super cool. If anyone has any kind of like information on it, um, like I don't know what year it was from or anything like that, but it was just cool, so I picked it up. I got this Frankenstein head. This is actually a Scentsy Tarte Warmer. And what did I pay for him? I think I paid, I wanna say seven or eight dollars. I don't remember now, and I think his tag isn't on anymore. I don't have him currently listed because I'm still up in the air whether or not I'm keeping him for myself. He is really cool. I could probably sell him for um, potentially like 40 ish dollars. Um, but I just don't know. He's just amazing and I may have to just keep him. So he's not for sale yet, but he might be in the future. This next item isn't for sale yet either. Um, the yard sale that I purchased it from had it sitting with other planters. So I'm assuming it's a planter and I'm assuming it's like a hanging planter because it's got these holes on the sides like you would put um, like wire through it or string or something like that and hang it. Uh, but it's a gorgeous pottery bowl. It has the name Bob Pittman inside. 1980 is what it's signed there on the interior. But the bottom is this gorgeous blue with this really pretty pattern. So I paid $5 for this. I had all intentions of listing it. Uh, but Eric kind of fell in love with it and decided that we may keep it and use it ourselves. So if we do that, it's not for sale. If we decide that we don't want it, then I will list it. But as of right now, it's not listed. Um, I also got some other clothes. These are a pair of Torrid jeans. I want to try these on. I haven't tried them on yet. So if these fit me and I like them, then I'm probably going to keep them. But if not, they will be listed. They're a size 12 regular. Um, and I paid, I believe, $3 for these. Eric bought these two just Pyrex storage um, glass containers. They were 50 cents a piece. We use these a lot when we're like making tacos and stuff, like for cilantro and the onion and things like that, because we always have extra and then like um, just make tacos the next day. And we're always needing those size Pyrex bowls. So he bought those for us. And then he did get two um, zip-up jackets 
So these are kind of hard to show, but this is by Volcom, is the brand. And it's got this nice print there on the back. So he bought that for himself. And I think these were $5 a piece. But they're nice and thick and heavy. And then this one is black. Um, but this is also by Volcom. And it says, says it on the front here. So $5 a piece for those. Not too bad. So got those. he got those for himself. And then, oh, I also have another Mark um, body spray, the Get Misty. This one is in Coconut Treat is the name of this. And these are all sealed, like I said, but you can still kind of get a hint of the fragrance just smelling like the seal. And this one smells like suntan lotion it smells so good um so i think i might be keeping this one for myself just because the smell of it is amazing um based off what i can smell even through the seal so if i open it and then you know don't like the fragrance or something then i'll sell it but um, as of now I think I'm hanging on to that one. Yeah. All right, but that is everything for this haul. Like I told you guys, it was a really long, really long haul. So I hope you're still here um, to the end. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You'll have to let me know what you thought of everything, what you thought like the coolest purchase was. Um, I just, I don't know, I love everything. Like the Fenton, Sa the Fenton Santa was just absolutely amazing. And I'm really excited to see where that Pepsi hat goes as far as the price. Um, Cause there are some listed for like a lot, a lot of money. I listed mine kind of on the cheaper side compared to other people. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.